ball forward. There's a little bit of confusion at the back here. That's got to be a penalty, and it is. It's a clear penalty. So Billy Clark from the penalty spot, and he gives Crawley the lead. His seventh league goal. Clear on downfield by Paul Jones into the final quarter of the game. A flick on by Fallon as well. Oh, a deep forward by Simpson just over the head of Polk. That's frustrating. It's wasted this afternoon, Simpson, has he? I suppose he's been out on the left wing now, isn't he? That's a nice chest forward by McFadden. Dicker pokes it through to Pockter, back to Dicker again. Simpson's made a great one down the channel. Oh, Pockter, it's inside left position. This is good to watch. He's got uh, Mancarato. Great. Oh, what a goal! What a goal for Jamie Pockter! That is unbelievable from him! And O'Crawley turning the corner here. Are they going to end this four match losing streak? That is an absolute beauty from Jamie Proctor. That's brought the crowd to life. It's Crawley Town 1, Crew Alexandra 1. to know whether Box was planning on turning that and shooting because he was 25 yards out central sort of position he's, he's got goals from before well look crew wasn't it he scored buttons are similar to that where he got away from his man let fly and it ended up in the top corner but it's Drury and Tubbs over this Sadler as well so it's two options there the right footedness of, of the first of the first two I mentioned and Sadler with the left here comes the free kick Tubbs over the wall oh what a goal what a wonderful free kick by Matt Tubbs, and it gives Crawley the lead. Just as we were wondering who might take that one, up steps Matt Tubbs. And he did used to take the odd free kick or two, yeah, didn't he, in his first here. round? Ridehouse just going to pummel it into that box and see who gets it on the end of it. <coughs> if he can find the box, he does dribble it all, dribble it all the way towards the edge of the box. McFadden heads it away. There's more air, air on it than, than actually distance. Crawley, we've got three players there. I think Bournemouth's clearance has hit one of his... No, I think it's hit uh, Akakpo, hasn't it? Trammy still have it, though. Just a little bit deep here. Crawley, Mike Jones brings it away. Let's get the second goal. And here's Dicker. Dicker breaks now. Great run ahead. Oh, yes, no, Edwards. Is he going to get it? Edwards is clean. Can he get the keeper? He can't pace past keeper. Oh, it's a dream, dream start for Green Edwards. Begins his Crawley career with what will surely be the clinching goal. Got on the end of that ball from the other substitute, Gary Dicker, just got there ahead of the keeper and he's poked it past him into the corner. Relief all around, delight all around. Three points all round. It's oh. Cooley 2, Tramway 0. Has it on the far side? Plays it. Oh, that's right, that's a nice ball, fine stuff. Now, Bournemouth's made a run. Bournemouth, can he get there? He might have hit this first time, Bournemouth. Edwards is square, can Edwards open the score? He can! Oh, yes! From Gwyn Edwards! It's 2-2 two two from him! A wonderful counter-attack. And the home fans are celebrating again. A Crawley on their way to three wins in a row. And four wins out of four against Leighton Orient. It's Crawley Town 1, Leighton Orient 0. To be taken by Joe Walsh. Joe Orient look a, a playoff winning side to you, John. What, do you, what are your thoughts on them? I'm impressed with a couple of their players. I do Bajo, I like the look of. He's, he's quick. Um, yeah, they're, they're, oh, ball out to this near side, surely. 
finds Connolly's apologies to one thought Crawley had a better opportunity there floating forward Bold Drew he's made a great one not too back oh what a finish from Andy Drew a touch of quality from him and Crawley back in front this bumper bank holiday crowd brought back to life Crawley regain the lead it's Andy Drew and when he scores Crawley don't lose it's Crawley 2 Oh, in 1